Can you believe the Kennedy half dollar turned 60 last year? We're going on our 61st coin this year, 2024. Well, tonight we're going to celebrate the first year of issue, the finest known quality of a 64, and the rarest version on top of that. So let's have some fun. The coin I'm talking about is, well, they made P's and D's for circulation, right? And then they made a proof also. Proofs were made for collectors, the PF you're seeing here on the grade. The rarest is the proof. They struck a significant number of coins that year, and the proofs were only 3.9 million. That's the best part of it all. Now, they put them in poly packs, which was an envelope with a way of packaging. Well, it was 1955 to 1964 from the U.S. Mint that an air bubble kept the coins safe. There are no 70s, everyone. There are no 70s. So the finest known is a 69. Now, if you look at NGC's population guide, you're going to notice there are three different 1964 proof, Philadelphia proof coins. There is the accented hair which many of you might know the story. They, the first coin made, they brought to her for approval, and she said his hair above his ear is just too busy. So they corrected it, even though they were striking coins already. They just assumed she'd love it. But they did fix it. And while they were fixing it, one of the reverse dies with the initials of the designer, Frank Gasparro, F.G., they forgot to put the serif up. So we have one die striking proof coins during 1964 that has this unique trait. So it is the rarest outright, and the rest are not even close. Right? So the number of coins on the table in 69 out of 3.9 million is 11,386. So it's not a large number. If you want to go to the accented hair in 69, there are 413 of them. Not many of those at all. And then you go to the straight G. That one. This one. 155 coins, period. Now this is with NGC doing this for the last 40 years. 40 years, and they've certified over 50,000 64 candidates in 67 or higher condition, which is still a small number out of 3.9 million. But when you break that down and you get to the good stuff, the finest strike is a 69, grade-wise. And then you have this one at only 2.99 tonight with us. So here's the other thought. I'm just talking out loud, and it's just like inverted thinking. It's not logical. My competition sells the regular Kennedy in 69, the one I referenced with 11,386, and they are over 400 on that coin. And they have it available right now. If you want the accented hair, which is a very scarce coin in 69, of which only 413 of them are known to exist. They want 2,200. Or you can join me with the rarest of them all, which is known as the straight G. Frank Gasparro, the G, being straight, as that graphic has showed you a couple of times. And there's only 155 coins known to exist. But here is the illogical logic of it all, if there's such a way of phrasing it, right? 400, 2200, or the rarest coin is $299.95 for the handful we have available here tonight. Uh, 
yeah, it's, it's the storyline of it all. Now this graphic will come with the coin. So that way when you get it, you can look at it and say, wow. And it's just one of those things. They scrutinize first year of issue coins at all costs. And once they find an error, like the Bugs Bunny and the Franklin, the coin before this, 1955 was the first one found, and then it moved to the 56, the 59, the 61, the 63. They found other errors in the series. But only one of them can be the first, right? Well, this is the first year of issue. It's also the last Philadelphia proof on the table. So the first year of issue for the Kennedy was Philadelphia's last proof set. San Francisco took over in 1968. So any way you slice it, the Kennedy, how popular is it? It hasn't been released for circulation since 2002. The last one was 2001. It's been made for collectors for the last 20 plus years. Remember a couple of years ago? The U.S. Mint announces we're only making 1.5 million P's and 1.5 million D's. Our launch date is X, and it lasted five minutes. 1.5 million. Now, the average number the last decade has been right about that, 1.5 million. They just told us in advance, and that pushed us all to buy that coin. Right? Tells you there's lots of collectors. When it comes down to it, though, how about the first year of issue? The finest strike, which is a proof, and the rarest version of that in 69. The regulars, again, 11,386. The accented hairs, a beautiful coin at 413. But the rarest period is the straight G. There are three candidates in proof. The straight G rules with only 155. But it's all about the price. And this one, it's affordable. Guys, let's put that one minute clock up, please. Thank you for spending some time with us this evening, guys. If you're visiting us, guys and gals, you're visiting us via the web. You're hanging around, you just take the coins you like and push it in your shopping cart. You're going to decide later, which is your prerogative. This one's not going to last. We're down to the last five or six coins. And I got a lot of people on the phones. I just can't tell what everybody's buying. So this one might be sold out before you get it pushed through the system. But it's pretty simple. Who cares the variety is one question, right? Because my competition at 400 for the finest known grade, which is a 69, there are no 70s again, ever. And then the regular has 11,000, the accented has 413, and this one has 155, and it's less money? Not meant to be a rocket science, this thing. But again, in the reverse, to the right of the tail feathers, the FG, and those FGs have the serif, or they don't. One die created this masterpiece. Join us with the rarest candidate of 64, the finest grade, and tonight, no questions asked, the best price.